Welcome to an introduction to SAP Data Archiving with Alfresco and Conexas, the integration tool between SAP and Alfresco. So what is the topic about? We do have data, business objects in the SAP data database and the tables are growing and the performance is going down and before any HANA upgrade it would be great to get a redu reduction of the SAP table spaces. So why not storing this data outside SAP and still have it accessible? We do offer with Conexus the integration tool between Alfresco and SAP. We are certified by SAP and Alfresco and we do have the solution for this. Besides the business objects related with documents that we can store, you can see another video, let's focus today on the data archiving approach that we have in this area. So the object is about how do we reduce the database. So we have to move data with um, SAP data archiving objects to file files which contain the information and at the end we want to access this information. So we have online data and we want to move it to archive data and really delete information in the SAP database and have it available in the file system. And these archive files that we create here we also can store via Conexus to Alfresco. So at the end the document is really in the storage or let me say that information is in the storage and still can be accessed. So the process is create the archive file, delete the information in the database system or in SAP, then store the file to Alfresco and still access this information for the end user in SAP. Let me run you through a quick demo I have prepared. So assuming we have a financial document, so an invoice for example. You see this is how we end an invoice and this invoice we have all information available. We can go to the line item information. Perfect. We also have stored a document here we can see in the attachment list which is also by the way stored to Alfresco. Now we want to store this business information which is in the database right now to um, database or to an archive file which we later on store then to Alfresco. Now let's go to the archive administration on the SAP side. You see that I have chosen the archiving object FI document and we have done the customizing already. To start an archive run we start with the write action. So to write, so to create the archive file we can choose a variant and we maintain the variant and you remember that we had uh, this business object. So in this case I only store one invoice to the archive file. In real time you might have more. And you see that we run the whole thing then really in production mode. And um, we can type in here some test demo. So let me know what has happened. So that's it. I maintained the variant, save it, and now the system is loaded. You can just tell that we want to start immediate here with the archive run and we can execute the archive run. To see what's happening in the background it's interesting to check the job log. You see that we have started here with a write job and then also the lead deletion job has taken place. When I check check here the job log we see that we have read one document and one has been archived and the same we will see here on the deletion job we see that one document has been processed and one has been deleted. So the archive run was successive, successful. The deletion job has been started automatically so the next step would be to see what has happened in the background. And I go to the management and we see that we have here some completed sessions. And this is my session, you see the test demo video. And we see that we have here created an archive file. When I have a closer look to the archive file we see that 
the archive file is currently on the exchange directory. So it's still not stored to the uh, storage system. You see, not stored, but it is accessible for SAP. Now, the next step will be we move this archive file to Alfresco. So we can easily do this here or we go to the um, storage system and say for this archive file, which we have not stored right now, we store these, um, this document now to Alfresco. So that's it, you see, just a single click and we stored now the archive file to Alfresco. When we double check again here in the management, you see now this document or the archive file really has been stored to Alfresco and it's not accessible anymore here in the file system, but it's accessible via archive link in the storage system, so in Alfresco. Now, you see, it's pretty easy. Everything uh, should be customized up front. And we have seen technically um, how we did the archive run. Now let's have a look back to the system. Uh, when I, What happens now when I want to display this document again? So the nice story about this is we are completely integrated here with SAP. So when I execute or I want to display this invoice again, um, it takes a little bit longer. But you see now the document has already been archived and this information is now coming from Alfresco. So we really access this information now from the archive system, from Alfresco. And uh, we still have the same functionality. It's not uh, available for all SAP business objects, but as you see, for example, in finance, it's perfectly implemented. We can even go here to the line item and we get the line item information also from Alfresco. And last but not least, remember we had here also a stored document and when we check here the attachment list, we also have access to this information. So we have some metadata here about this uh, document that has been attached to the invoice and of course we also can display the document which is also stored by the way to Alfresco. So the whole uh, communication chain is still available. Now we have seen how we do the archive run, how we store the file to Alfresco, how we can access the file. Of course, this is a pretty nice feature to access this here in the known transaction for the end user. But we also offer here the option of the information system in SAP, the transaction SARI, and you always have access to this stored information via the Archive Explorer. Again, you see here, this is our archiving object. It's the invoice FI document. And we can search here for our document. So, and when I execute here, you see I get also, this is available for all archiving objects. So uh, this technical view, you always can have, you can choose here the details and can have the single document access or the technical view I want to show you here because um, the official view we saw before. So this is the header information. You can have here all types of information that has been stored. And also, of course, we can go to the line item information here in this more technical view. But I just want to make clear that all information is always available out of the archive, so out of Alfresco. So there are more options available that we support, like the document relationship browser. Um, but here for this overview video, uh, I think you got the information that we can handle the data reduction SAP with data archiving. On the Alfresco side, the document has been stored. We have here a special site for our SAP system. And when we check uh, the document library, you can see that the document has arrived um, from the SAP system. And we have here the new created um, data archive file coming from the SAP system, which is now linked to SAP and keeps all the relevant information that we stored from the SAP database. For any further de uh, details, please do not hesitate to contact us directly via phone or in, in the web.